peace and all good things. I wanted to begin this very short reflection with a joke that I recently heard in which I just wanted to, to share with you and perhaps connect with some of our Franciscan ideals. Uh, there was a man who died and went to heaven and St. Peter uh, welcomed him and, uh, and was showing him around heaven a little bit and he saw his best friend uh, drive by in a Mercedes and the man told St. Peter, wow, this place is really great. You look at my friend in a Mercedes and St. Peter says, yes, the kind of transportation that you have in heaven is dependent upon how generous you were on earth. Your friend was very generous, therefore he has a Mercedes. And then St. Peter brought over the man's uh, mode of transportation, which was a Honda motor scooter. So the man went away very upset, uh, understanding that he wasn't the most generous person, but still very upset that he only had a motor scooter. About a week later, uh, St. Peter saw the man and the man was all smiles. And uh, St. Peter says, well, are you feeling better now? And the man said, oh yes, I am feeling much better after I saw my mother-in-law going by on a skateboard. I think that that little joke can teach us two very important things in Franciscan spirituality and in our Franciscan life. And the first one is a question, how generous are we? How generous are we with our time and our talents and our treasures? Because while obviously that's a joke and our going to heaven or whatever is not only uh, um, based upon uh, you know how generous we are, how much we give, that it really is very important. And we hear from that famous prayer within the Franciscan spirituality, it's in giving that we receive, is in pardoning that we are pardoned, right? We look to the cross, that greatest example of love in which St. Francis looked upon so, with such a great admiration but and such changed his life that he wanted to give his whole life up, be as generous as Jesus was giving his whole life up on the cross. So if we went to heaven, what kind of transportation would we have? How generous are we? I think that St. Francis is a uh, challenge for, gives us a challenge to be more generous in our lives that it is in giving that we receive. And I think secondly, in that joke, we oftentimes like to compare ourselves with other people and think that we have something due to us. And even though we may not put forth the effort, we not, may not be generous with other people. We expect society, we expect God, we expect others to be generous to us. Maybe we need to just take a step back for a second. Not saying that we should be only generous to those who are generous to us or, you know, we have what's coming to us or whatever about that. Not so much that. But let's be joyful when other people are successful. Let's be joyful when other people have different things or have success. And let's not compare ourselves with other people that I'm better than you because I have more or I am, have this title, you have that title or whatever the case may be. But let us live as brothers and sisters, equal in God's eyes and equal in the call to be generous, to give our lives. That the generosity of Jesus was given to all of us. And may we be generous and loving in return. God bless you.